So I put these in boiling water for 20 minutes and now I'm using my fancy potato masher and I am mashing away. I clean all of my potatoes before boiling them and then you just mash them. If you aren't going to use milk, I don't usually use milk personally. I use basically butter, salt, and I take fresh garlic because this is going to be garlic mashed potatoes and I'm going to be putting the garlic on the barbecue and then putting the paste inside the mashed potatoes and then you have yourself garlic mashed potatoes and of course always salt and pepper to taste and that's how I make my potatoes. So you see, I just slopped in the butter and you just start mashing it away and you just start getting those nice and lumpless. Get the lumps out. I'm pretty sure he didn't say that. But yeah, so you just get the lumps out, mash, 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 and just get that butter mixed in nice and good. And this is how I make mashed potatoes. And the great thing about mashed potatoes is they're actually very easy to heat up. So you don't have to worry too much about what time you're going to serve this with to people or any of that. You can just get them done, put a lid on it, and stick it to the side and worry about it later. Let's see. Whoa! <laughs> Savior. Mmm. Good. Perfect. All right, they're on their way. I'm going to let my potatoes just sit and rest. I've seasoned them with salt and pepper. Um, I take a spoon, I push it all the way down into my potato, I pull it back out. And then I take a slice of butter and I just stick it down into the hole and then I just let it sit and rest. Uh, this is what I would do if I don't have any milk and I want to make mashed potatoes. So now that the potatoes are resting and once I'm ready to actually eat them, I will turn on the stove and use that butter that's in there to remix it up and it becomes actually creamy uh i really enjoy them like that uh sometimes i just i don't drink milk so i don't usually have it at my house and so i found this is a way to get around the whole milk thing <laughs> so i am want to make garlic mashed potatoes and i have these already peeled garlic so what I'm doing is I'm making a little pouch for the garlic. If I had a full on bulb, then I would also do this, except I would just cut off the top part of the bulb. So that way later on when I make it, um, you just squeeze the bulb and it comes out like a paste. But I don't have that right now, <laughs> so we're just going to work with what we got. And basically, I'm just going to close up this pouch, get it nice and tight, and then put it on the grill. my little pouch on there on the grill and leave it there for about 20 minutes because I hope it will cook it in enough time and then it will turn it into like a mushy paste-like substance. So I got the garlic still going as you see over there. So these have been cooking on the grill for about 25 minutes. And as you see, when I press down, they're kind of like soft and mushy. So that's exactly how you want them for your potatoes.